adaptations. When something that we are doing isn't working, we often do something different. This means that we change our behavior to fit with the new circumstance. Another word for change is adapt. If you have ever moved from one home to another, you've had to adapt to a new school, neighborhood, and location. If you happen to move to a different country, you may have had to adapt to an entirely new language and culture. Adaptations can be big, like moving to a new place, or they can be small. An example of a small adaptation might be visiting a place with a different time zone than yours. You might visit somewhere where 8 p.m. your time is 11 p.m. their time. Your body would need to adapt to the three-hour time difference. After a few days, your body would get used to the new time zone. That means it would adapt to the change in time. Humans aren't the only ones that adapt. Adaptations are the special features that help an animal live and survive in certain places or habitats. There are three kinds of animal adaptations, behavioral, physical, and life cycle. Behavioral. Animals behave in a certain way to help them adapt to their environment. Migration is a behavioral adaptation that some animals use. Migration is when an animal moves from one location to another. Animals typically migrate during the winter months when it gets cold. They migrate or move to warmer locations. They do this so they can find food and survive. A bird called the Arctic tern migrates from the North Pole and flies south to Antarctica. The monarch butterfly travels south and west each autumn. It migrates because it will die if it gets too cold. Blue whales, which are the largest animals in the world, swim up to 16,000 miles when they migrate. That's one of the longest migration paths of all animals. Humpback whales go all the way from the North Pole to the South Pole to escape the cold. Maybe you've even done some migrating of your own. During winter, have you ever taken a vacation to a warm place to escape the cold weather? Hibernation is another way that animals adapt their behavior. When an animal hibernates, it stays in one place and sleeps through the winter. When the weather warms up, the animal wakes up. One type of animal that hibernates is bears. Bears eat large amounts of food in preparation for hibernation. In fact, they eat up to 90 pounds of food every single day. During hibernation, bears lose a quarter to almost half of their body weight. Some bears hibernate up to seven months without drinking, eating, or going to the bathroom. Other animals sleep lightly during hibernation. Skunks, raccoons, and chipmunks wake up for short periods of time during hibernation to go to the bathroom and to find food. Snakes, turtles, and frogs go into a state-like hibernation called brumation. Brumation is a type of hibernation for cold-blooded animals. A lot of these animals go underground to hibernate to protect themselves from the cold. During brumation, their metabolism slows way down and they become less active. They also sleep for long periods of time. Another way animals adapt their behavior is in their interactions with each other. Monkeys help each other out by eating the parasites or bugs off their buddies' backs. Plover birds fly into the mouths of crocodiles, where they clean out the crocodile's teeth after it has eaten. The plover bird gets a meal while the crocodile gets a teeth cleaning. As a bonus, the plover bird doesn't get eaten by the crocodile. The way that some animals move is another way that they behaviorally adapt. Bats sleep during the day and fly at night when it's cooler. Ducks, geese, and penguins have webbed feet that help them paddle through the water. Some animals use sounds to communicate with each other and for protection. A female lion roars to protect her babies. Birds' calls are used to communicate with each other. Beavers slap their tails on the surface of water to warn other beavers of danger and to frighten their enemies. Physical. The second way animals adapt is physically. Some animals use their claws for catching and gripping their prey. Others use them for climbing trees and digging. 
The fur on a bear helps keep it warm during cold weather. The ostrich has thick feathers to help it look bigger and scare away predators. Prairie dogs have sharp claws to help it dig their burrows, and sharp hearing so they can hear if a predator is coming. Atlantic salmon have four sets of gills, which allow them to go back and forth between fresh water and salt water. Some animals use camouflage for protection and to also help them find a mate. Camouflage means that an animal uses its colors or appearance to help it blend into its environment. Some sharks and tuna fish are darker on the top of their bodies and lighter on the bottom. That kind of camouflage is called counter shading. It helps them blend into the water. It not only helps them catch fish to eat, but also not get caught themselves. Other fish use various color patterns that help them blend into their surroundings and avoid being seen by a predator. Chameleons have many different adaptations that help them survive. The half circle on their head helps them not only attract a mate, but to catch dew for drinking. They also have eyes that pivot, which helps them see fast moving prey. Their skin changes color too. This enables them to blend into their environment. It also makes their enemies nervous, which hopefully keeps them away. The colors help chameleons attract a mate as well. Life cycle adaptations. The third way an animal adapts to its environment is through a life cycle adaptation. A life cycle adaptation is the process an animal goes through to help it survive. When we talk about life cycle, we are talking about how an organism grows or changes from birth into adulthood. Frogs start their lives as eggs that are hatched from an adult frog. Tadpoles then hatch from those eggs. Those little tadpoles eventually grow two front legs. Two more legs gradually appear in the back. The tadpoles then turn into a froglet, which looks just like an adult frog, only with a tail. Finally, the froglet loses its tail and becomes an adult frog. Some adaptations change over time depending on the needs of the animal. For example, a frog starts out with gills so they can live in water, which eventually turn into lungs so they can live on land. The life cycle of a butterfly includes four stages. It starts out as an egg, then changes into a caterpillar. From a caterpillar, it becomes a pupa and then finally an adult butterfly. Without adaptation, no living organism would be able to survive. Every adaptation that an animal makes, whether it's behavioral, physical, or life cycle, helps an animal not only survive, but thrive where it lives. Thanks for following Clarendon Learning. Be sure to subscribe. For more free resources, check us out at clarendonlearning.org.